Welcome to Kids Tech Talk. Today we're doing a review on the Patriot Viper Extreme Division 2 Memory DR3 8GB kit that I have here. PC3 15,000 1866 MHz default. So this is for your brand new um, Intel Core i5 or Core i7 Sandy Bridge or even on a new FX um, AMD system this will work as well so even though these have been basically tested manufactured to work on Intel it will work on AMD just as good the main thing here is whether you need 4 gigs or 8 gigs this is an 8 gig module which will give you more freedom to basically run more intensive applications that require more memory of course as you can see here are the memory timings 9 11 9 27 okay and um, if you look closely it has copper on the inside six grams of copper basically wafered and attached there to the chips to allow more cooling and uh, I like these um, these heat spreaders the design is very effective for uh, dissipating the heat okay you can see there's a separation there for air flow going through it here on my test PC we've got things overclocked and um, we basically install things at defaults first to see how things run and then we try to do overclocking now you might not want to do any overclocking you might just want to run things at default and that's just fine because when it comes to memory like this the uh, latency is not necessarily the fastest this is more about getting more memory bandwidth okay so 1866 here you can see the XMP profile for your Intel CPU processors and um, you could tighten up the latency and get uh, faster timings but this is not memory that you necessarily uh, aim for that when it talk when we talk about bandwidth memory benchmarks here show the read write and copy when we talk about latency those are the timings this did very well considering um, the uh, benchmarks that I did here it came right at the top which was very impressive considering that the timings are 9 11 9 27 not necessarily the fastest like I said I reviewed other memory from uh, Patriot that was much faster than this but then again this is pretty darn fast now when I uh, did a quick benchmark on W prime to calculate pi 7.645 seconds to calculate that on this test PC I did overclock the CPU left the um, uh, memory at the same settings but I wanted to squeeze a little bit more out of the CPU without increasing the voltage and uh, by increasing certain things on the CPU I actually gained more bandwidth so that's the good thing about getting an 1866 memory module such as this one not only does it increase the overall uh, results but you do actually get more performance out of it depending on how much you overclock your CPU so it's all scaled and it's all relative and the price is right if you take a look now on Newegg.com, $59 for 8 gigs of memory such as this is pretty darn good. I don't think you're going to find a good um, 8 gig memory kit as low as this for $59. So um, I'll add the link below for you guys if you want to go and check it out or buy a, a kit such, such as this. But I definitely recommend it and I'd like to thank Patriot for providing it. And I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.